Hi mathematicians, this is Mr. Almeida. I hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to learn how to multiply and divide decimals by powers of 10. If there is one thing that I'd like for you to take away from this entire, entire video, is that the decimal point never moves. It is always between the ones and the tenths place. It is always between the ones and the tenths place. It's the digits that shift either left or to the right. And when you're multiplying by powers of 10, you are, each digit is going to get that power of 10, whatever that power of 10 is, places bigger. So if you have 10 to the second power, it's going to get two places bigger. If you have 10 to the first power, it's going to get one place bigger, okay? And each digit is going to shift to the left because according to the place value, ones is here, tens is there, and hundreds are there. The places are getting bigger as we move to the left, so the digits are gonna to shift to the left. Then when it comes to dividing by powers of 10, each digit is going to get that power of 10 places smaller. In other words, each digit is going to shift to the right because um, tens are less than 100 and ones are less than um, tens, so we're gonna move the digits to the right, okay? Now that power of 10 will tell you how many places the digit's gonna move. So let's go over the idea behind it, the concept, and then I'll show you um, how you can show your work. So given the fact that we're multiplying 42 and 37 hundredths by 10, we're gonna put each of these digits into their places. So this is four tens, two ones, three tenths, and seven hundredths. We put those digits right in their places, and again, the decimal point is always between the ones and the tenths place. When we multiply by 10, each digit is going to get one place bigger because that's 10 to the first, and it's gonna shift one place to the left. So each digit gets one place bigger. So this four is now not tens, but four hundreds, and every other digit will fall into their place, get one place bigger as well. Okay, so when you multiply 42 and 37 hundredths by 10, you get 423 and 7 tenths. Notice that the order of the digits doesn't change. However, their placement in different um, place values does change, okay? Next, let's move on to 42 and 37 hundredths divided by 10. We put the digits in their proper places. And then each digit is going to get one place, because we're dividing by 10, one place smaller and as we move to the right, those are smaller places. So we're gonna shift each digit one place to the right. So this four that's in the tens place is going to become four ones. And the decimal point always stays in between the ones and the tenths. And then the two ones will become two tenths, the three tenths will become three hundredths, and the seven hundredths will become seven thousandths. Okay, so that's the idea behind it. You don't have to draw this picture, but that gives you a mental image of what's going on with the digits. Okay, here's for the work. When we are multiplying by a power of 10, each digit gets bigger um, by that power of 10, and it's gonna shift that many places to the left. Okay, so we're multiplying four, 42 and 37 hundredths by 10. Here's the work I'm gonna ask you to do. I'm gonna ask you to get one place bigger by putting your the little blanks above and you get one place bigger to the left okay so that four is now going to shift right there in that place the two is going to be right above the four the three is going to get one place bigger and that's going to be in the ones place now then our decimal point and then we copy our last digit which is seven all right are there any blanks that are missing um, between the decimal points? No. So if there were blanks missing between the decimal points, then we would annex zeros either to the right or to the left until we got to the decimal point. But there aren't, so we're good. All right, so this number is 423 and 7 tenths. So next, we're going to divide this number by 10. That means each digit is going to get one place smaller. So that four, that leading four is gonna shift one place to the right. All the other digits will fall into place as well. So we write the four 
above the two, that's in the ones place now, and then the two above the three, the three above the seven, and the seven to the right of the three. And so this is four and 20, 237 thousandths, okay? Again, I just wanna impress upon you one last time that the decimal point is not moving, it's just the digits that are shifting either to the left or to the right. All right, let's get into this right here. These are kind of challenge questions here. Um, we now have three and 75 hundredths divided by one over 10 to the third. Now, what does it mean to divide by a number? It means to multiply by that number's reciprocal. So this is going to become three and 75 hundredths times 10 all over one. And all over means we're dividing by, so we're going to, um, if we divide that whole thing by one, it's still the same thing. So it's gonna be three and 75 hundredths times 10 to the third. Okay, so that's what this is. Now we're multiplying by a power of 10. So we're each digit's going to get places bigger. How many places bigger? Three. So I'm going to get three places to the left of where the three currently is. So one, two, three. And the three is going to start right here. And then the seven gets written to the right, the five to the right of that. And I need to write a zero here until I get to the decimal points, okay? So always annex zeros until you get to the decimal point. And this number now is 3,750. Do you have to put the decimal point in your final answer? No. If you did, is it incorrect? No. But in simplest form, this is how we would write it. And then just for clarity, we put our comma with whole numbers to the left of every three digits. All right, this last one, we are multiplying three and 75 hundredths by one over 10 to the third. And when we're multiplying, we use the product formula. So this is really three and 75 hundredths times one all over 10 to the third. What is 375 hundredths times one? Three and 75 hundredths. And then all over 10 to the third is really divided by 10 to the third. So we have three and 75 hundredths divided by 10 to the third. When you divide by a power of 10, each digit gets how many places smaller? Three, so we're gonna shift the digits to the right. So that three is the leading digit, we're gonna shift it three places to the right. I put my decimal point, and then one place to the right, two places to the right, three places to the right. That's where my three is gonna go, and then my seven is gonna go to the right of that, and my five is gonna go to the right of that. Let me do this in a different color so you can see it stand out from the original problem. Three right there, seven there, and five there. And are there any blanks before we get to the decimal point? Yes, so we're gonna have to annex two zeros. And in our final answer, if there isn't a whole number to the left or any digits to the left of the decimal point, we'll put a zero there. So we put zero and zero, zero, three, seven, five. So that's 375 hundred thousandths, okay? So that is how we multiply and divide decimals by powers of 10. Each digit is getting that many places either bigger or smaller, and the decimal point is always between the ones and the tenths place. This will be helpful when you are um, dividing decimals, because when you're dividing decimals, we're actually gonna be using what we learned about before, which is complex fractions, and we're gonna make equivalent fractions to those when we talk about dividing decimals. So this skill will be helpful in using it in that regard. I wish you all the best as you continue your journey in mathematics. Take care, mathematicians.